another beautiful fall day, Carleen, and uh, that fog, though, not going away. No. It's kind of nice, I think. It adds to the, you know, the ambiance of... Oh, oh you oh, just oh. wanted to pull out the holiday cup. Holiday drink. Carlene oh. is very opposed to holiday drink before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. But, before Thanksgiving. Let's but here it is. And it, the fog this. just makes it, you know, feel perfectly Can you acceptable. Can you get off of Marcella's? So, because all these cameras are blocking her, so I don't have to see her <laughs> in her holiday cup right now. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, one holiday at a time, people. That's just how I feel about it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our highs for today because we did have some stubborn fog with that marine layer right along the immediate coast. So daytime highs were in the 60s. Also talking about 80s where we had more sunshine across the inland valleys. 88 degrees today for Valley Center, 85 degrees for Ramona. Also talking about those 80s for El Cajon and for Campo. Still in the 90s for the desert and 70s across the mountains. There's that fog that Marcella apparently likes. Could it's in the holiday spirit. Well, guess what, Marcella? You should be in the fall spirit, and that's exactly what we are dealing with. It was a fall day out there, warmer than usual temperatures, but we will have them knocked down into the weekend. So the fog is still there, low clouds as well, 63 degrees for downtown, some light winds out of the south at five miles per hour. So we're starting to see a reduction in visibility. That's something to be mindful of tonight through tomorrow morning. And still the key time frame when it comes to the fog being very dense, and that's 10 p.m. tonight all the way until 10 a.m. for tomorrow morning. Taking a look at our current conditions, it's down to about five miles for Oceanside, four for Carlsbad, also down to three miles for Imperial Beach as well as Otay Mesa. But visibility down to a quarter of a mile or less is what's expected later on tonight. And you're noticing that uh, east of the 15 is now included. The fog has mainly been towards the west of the 15 over the past couple of nights and mornings, but extending a little bit more. As I mentioned, that reduced visibility. When you are in fog, give yourself some extra time, slow down using low beam lights as well, and that's going to stick around all the way through tomorrow morning, and you're going to see on your eight day that we're expecting it to continue to pop up, just no advisories being issued currently. Taking a look at what's going on in the atmosphere, we have high pressure. That's why we've had the shallow marine layer bringing in the fog, but that high pressure system is going to exit towards the east. As a result, the ridge is out, a trough is in. That's going to be a deep trough right along the west coast, deepening the marine layer, extending the fog towards the inland valleys in the morning hours. Also talking about westerly breeze, passing clouds and cooler temperatures countywide by this weekend, and even the potential for some showers. That is going to now be on Wednesday. So taking a look at that eight day, so, I, as I said yesterday, Tuesday, but now it looks like it's set to arrive by Tuesday night into Wednesday morning for that chance for some light shower activity. The fog extending to the inland valleys all the way until Monday. You're looking at cooler than usual temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday, but then by, excuse me, then by next week we do warm up. I'll let you know why the next half hour and still talking about high surf. All right, a whole lot to get to in weather tonight. When was the coldest day ever recorded in San Diego? Not today. Not, no, polar opposite of today. Hmm. All right, so was it A, December 5th, 1968? Why are B, they chronological? Huh? I want to know why they're not chronological. <laughs> because I am not Maybe as... My brain. Uh, because your brain doesn't work like Marcella's and we're <laughs> thankful for that. Thank you, because that. I had a different thing to say, but what you just said was a lot nicer. All right, <laughs> B, January 7th, 1913. C, February 14th, 1925. Or D, April 29th. 1992. Just head to our website, cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your guess. Marcella, have you ever seen the movie American Psycho? <laughs> just, just asking. Oh, we, boy. It. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you could win a four pack of season tickets to Broadway San Diego's 44th season. Look at these shows. That's going to be pretty cool. This prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. You get your new weather quiz question every Monday through Friday during this newscast and our 7 a.m. Marcella, I love you. I love you too. You know, there's <laughs> viewers out there that think like me. I, I have an embossed card, Carlene, so I'm in trouble. Oh. <laughs>